Hi, my name is Alicia. I am a CRM developer here at Journey Team. I am going to show you today how to create a super basic arc rule or record creation and update rule. But yeah, it goes by many names. We're going to leverage a queue to create records inside of Dynamics 365 using customer service. So out of all our apps, where we're going to start first is the customer service admin center. As this loads, I'm going to make my way over to queues. Our very, very first step is going to be creating a basic queue. I'm going to hit new and I'm going to fill out the name today. Let's just call this support. We're going to keep the type as public so anyone can come in here and see any of the items that are coming into this queue. And I'm going to hit save. Nothing else is really necessary to populate unless you want to. When I hit save, a mailbox is going to be automatically created for me. What I need to do now is I need to go and activate that mailbox. So the way we do that is we go through advanced settings. Then we're going to make our way over to email configuration mailboxes and I should automatically see my new mailbox here called support that I just created. If you don't go ahead and change your view to all mailboxes and search for it. Now that this mailbox has been created, we are going to approve the email. Then we are going to test and enable the mailbox. And as it's done, we're going to hit OK. And we're going to let Dynamics do its thing. There's two th ways we can know if it's done is we can come over here to alerts. And refresh here and see if it comes through. Or. We can close out of here and hit refresh back on our original page here of mailboxes and we can see it's in progress here. It's running a test. So far, outgoing has been successful, and we are just going to assume incoming email is also going to be successful as this runs and continue the video. Oh, it's done already. We have a nice green check mark. We're going to scroll all the way down, and we're going to notice this little section here called a record creation and update. What I want to do is I'm going to create a new one. We're going to be brought here to a new record creation and update role. We're going to give it a name. We're going to save it. And more options are going to become available to us as soon as we save. The section that appeared down here called step two conditions to evaluate and actions to take are going to be pretty important. I'm going to hit new to see what this looks like. So what pops open is a new record creation and update role. We again have to name it. And this is where we are going to give it some parameters to determine that if these are true, then we're going to continue on to create a case or really any type of record in dynamics, whatever you would want. But traditionally, it's a case. Let's add some conditions. I traditionally like to say if subject contains data, then we're going to proceed. And if the direction of the email tied to the queue that we just set up, is incoming. Then I want our arc rule to continue on to create a case and maybe do some extra work here in Power Automate. Let's save this and let's talk about what we can do in Power Automate. So the arc rule automatically created this flow for us. We can go in here and do some custom dev work or we can leave it as is. In order for your arc rule to really work, though, you need to make sure to come in here at least once and make sure your connections 
are set up appropriately, which is just this here, Dataverse connection. I'm going to hit continue, and then I'm going to hit save. And all this flow is really doing is once our email has been tracked in Dynamics, it's going to go through and try to find who sent the email and then try to associate it to your case. If you do make any changes, make sure to hit save. Don't try to turn on your flow here in Power Automate. Allow the record creation and update rule to turn on the flow for you. We do that by hitting activate. Before I hit activate, there's one more section I want to talk about, and that's step three. So once an email comes into the queue inside of Dynamics, we may want to notify the person who sent the email that we have received their message. And we can do that automatically by saying down here, automatically reply to email, and we're going to say yes. Then we can choose a predefined template. We can create one or we can use one that already exists inside of Dynamics. I'm going to go ahead and hit case auto response. I'm going to save. And now I can activate my arc rule. This can take a few moments, give it some time. It's going through and it's turning on our flow for us. And now if I were to send an email to the queue, it would go through and it would create a case for us.